Good evening. I'm Stephanie Hines, Waco ISD's Community Partnership Specialist. We want to thank you for attending tonight's event where Waco ISD proudly celebrates its single greatest asset, its teachers. It is my distinct honor to present to you the 2018-2019 Waco ISD Outstanding Teachers of the Year. Thank you. You may be seated. There are many people responsible for tonight's celebration, but I would like to take the time to recognize a few of them individually. Thank you to the entire staff of University High for being such gracious hosts this evening. A special thank you is extended to the members of University High School's Student Council for serving as ushers for tonight's event. The beautiful music you heard as you entered the foyer this evening was provided by the talented members of University High School's orchestra under the direction of Mr. Eric Wolf. Tonight the colors are being presented by University High JROTC Color Guard. I would like everyone to please stand for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Andrew Yano, a fifth grader from Bells Hill Elementary. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a round of applause for both the University High JROTC Color Guard and Andrew Yano from Bells Hill Elementary for the beautiful presentation of Colors in the Pledge. It is now my pleasure to introduce Waco ISD's Superintendent of Schools, Dr. A. Marcus Nelson. Uh, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to be here this evening to celebrate uh, the outstanding teachers selected uh, on the stage tonight. Uh, as the superintendent of schools, uh, I am challenged with, uh, faced with many, many complex tasks each day that require tremendous amounts of uh, time, thought, and effort. But to be quite honest with you, none of what I do even really comes close to the outstanding accomplishments of the teachers that we recognize here tonight. They are where the rubber meets the road. And I know on behalf of our Board of Trustees, uh, we consider it an honor to celebrate the caliber of this year's outstanding class of teachers. I'd like to share my time uh, in welcoming you to this ceremony with our trustees, our Board of Trustees. If you don't mind, I'd like to introduce them and then we'll have our highest ranking member of the board say a few words. Uh, first, we have um, in absentia, he's in Argentina at the moment, uh, Mr. our board president, Pat Atkins. Let's give him a round of applause. I can't hear myself. Uh, we also have here Mrs. Angela T. Kell.
Mrs. Stephanie Ibarra Cordaweg. Mr. Carrie Dupuy. And the secretary of our board of trustees, Mr. Norman Manning. To bring a few greetings to our audience and to our uh, outstanding teachers that we recognize tonight, please help me welcome the Vice President of the Waco Independent School District Board of Trustees, Mr. Alan Sykes. Sure. I can do that. Good evening. On behalf of the Waco ISD Board of Trustees, it's my privilege to welcome everyone tonight as we recognize our outstanding teachers and express our appreciation for the excellence you demonstrate each and every day in the classrooms across the district. Most importantly, we want to thank you for your commitment to our students. We've said it before, we don't express our thanks often enough, and this is an opportunity for us to do that and recognize your excellence. We appreciate you. Every day, you are making a difference in the lives of our children and our community. Because of your dedication and hard work, our students leave your classrooms transformed in ways that are beyond the measure of a standardized test. Many may not understand what it means to be an outstanding teacher as measured by the hours you put in, how much you give, and how you're all in for your kids. My wife, Jane, teaches in Waco ISD, and our kids are proud examples of how outstanding educators, such as yourselves, impact the futures of our children. I know you bring your students' struggles and successes home with you, and that you never stop thinking about how best to meet their needs. Your passions and dedication to education inspire young students to become productive adult members of the community and of our society. Our next generation is in your classrooms today. I am confident about that where they will lead us because of the outstanding teachers that we are recognizing tonight. Congratulations again on this well-deserved honor, and thank you for your work. Appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Trustee Sykes. Um, as he has said so well, on behalf of our board of trustees and really all of our employees, we come tonight to spend just a moment celebra celebrating uh, what we call where the rubber meets the road. Uh, everyone's important in Waco ISD. Everyone has a critical role to play. But make no mistakes about it, uh, we would not be a successful school district without outstanding teachers. Teachers who give everything they have. And to your families and friends that have joined us here tonight, uh, we sincerely thank you for sharing the men and women on this stage that we celebrate uh, with the school district. Because we know they also are outstanding fathers and mothers husbands, wives, children, grandchildren, and friends, in addition to their role as teachers. As I close in my opening remarks, I would like to thank the Honorable Senator Birdwell for joining us. He'll be introduced in a minute, but it's certainly indeed our honor to have him in our presence. Also, my good friend, the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce and President, uh, Mr. Metter, who you will hear from as well. Thank you for being our special invited guests. I would like to thank the Office of Communications, specifically our partners in school specialists, Mrs. Hines, for her outstanding organization of this event. Also, would everyone in here please join me in recognizing another outstanding group that are here tonight to celebrate the backbone of our school but they really are very special as too. Would everyone please help me welcome our principals, 
Please stand right here that are In closing, uh, in Waco ISD, we are trying to build a team. We're trying to build a team that is focused on positive student outcomes at every level. And I can tell you, we won't rest until we've built a team that clearly helps us accomplish all of our student outcome goals. We want you to know that the all-stars of our team are here tonight. They can be the quarterback, the point guard, the pitcher, or whatever analogy you'd like to know, just know as a superintendent, I cannot tell you how thankful, how blessed, how fortunate we are to recognize the honorable men and women who serve as teachers in the Waco Independent School District, and specifically these outstanding employees tonight. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. We would like to begin tonight's celebration with a few words of reflection from the district's 2017-2018 Teachers of the Year. Ms. Brittany Sanders from West Avenue Elementary, our outstanding elementary teacher, and Ms. Samantha Cabbage from Cesar Chavez Middle School, our outstanding secondary teacher of the year. Good evening. If you were to ask those that know me what drives my passion, they will tell you education. This is where it all started. I've always wanted to be an educator since I was a young child. My parents bought me this art easel as a Christmas present when I was seven years old and I've had it ever since. <laughs> Although I was only a child, teaching just came naturally for me and I loved helping others learn. I loved playing school with my younger cousins and all my friends from the neighborhood. Of course, I was the teacher. Author, educator, and activist Parker Parma once stated, we teach who we are. I honestly couldn't agree more with him. Good teaching requires not only knowing our students and our specific content areas well, but most importantly, ourselves. If we do not know who we are, how can we expect to know our students and our content areas? Take a moment and reflect and identify an individual who has had some type of influence on your life. The individuals that I personally identified did not influence my life because of some amazing lesson that they taught me or some cool science experiment that they let me conduct, but solely because of their individuality, integrity, and beliefs. Now don't get me wrong, content is important, and in no way am I saying that it is not, but that is not what teaching is all about. Teaching is very challenging. Educators often do not receive the accolades and recognition that they deserve. We are truly the unsung heroes. In spite of this though, we have to remember who we are. We have to remember our passion and our purpose. We have to remember why we stay in this field despite the challenges. What keeps me grounded? My passion in educating all students. I wanna give special thanks to all the people who have helped me along my journey, whether that was by encouraging me, giving me advice, listening to me, and just pushing me to pursue my goals, especially my mother. During my journey, people saw things in me that I didn't necessarily see in myself at the time, even though it was still deep within me. That goes back to my selfhood. As I reflect on my journey, I showed them a passion that was already groomed since childhood and rootedness that comes from family. A family that has and continues to put education in the center of what we believe. Everyone deserves a good education. In closing, honorees, congratulations on your achievement. This is yet another milestone in your success story. As you continue on your journey, do not stress and overwhelm yourself with lesson plans or grading or desegregating data. Instead, remember to take deep breaths along the way and constantly reflect on your personal beliefs. Who are you? What is your passion and purpose? Why do you stay in the educational field? The journey is never ending, so never forget your why. Our students are counting on us. 
I would like to thank the superintendent and his cabinet, the board of trustees, administrators, honorees, and guests for giving me an opportunity to speak this evening. It is truly a moment that I will never forget. Thank you. Now Ms. Kubich will say a few words. Man, I did not know there was gonna be props. That's how you know I'm secondary. I brought a clipboard that has some graffiti on it. Um, <laughs> but um, good evening. Um, I feel honored to be here, surrounded by um, so much experience, so much wisdom. I'm worried I'm just like really sh too short for this. Um, I can only imagine the collective wisdom held in the seats on this stage. I don't have much advice or wisdom, but I would like to share a story and ask a few questions. So I teach at Cesar Chavez Middle School and we have a homeroom um, before lunch every day. It's a neat 15 minutes where kids come in my room um, we watch the news and we write a reflection. We think about what's going on in the world around us. And it is one of the most delightful parts of my day to, to attempt to shepherd the new generation uh, along the course of understanding other people's lives, other people's experiences, and sometimes tariffs. I'm really proud to say that a lot of my kids understand the tariff situation I don't think I could say the same thing about my friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but on Monday, uh, CNN put together a very thoughtful tribute to President George H. Bush, who recently passed away. And I noticed towards the middle of CNN um, that my kids were getting a little lost in the early 90s nuance of foreign policy. And as someone born in 1992, so was I. So I paused it and I pulled up a picture um, ducking behind my computer and just kind of letting things get crazy for a second. And I pulled up a picture of a letter that George, President George H. Bush wrote before he left office to Bill Clinton. And my kids and I read it together and I wanted to take a moment to share it with y'all tonight. He wrote, Dear Bill, when I walked into this office just now, I felt the same sense of wonder and respect that I felt four years ago. I know you will feel that too. I wish you great happiness here. I never felt the loneliness some presidents have described. There will be very tough times, made even more difficult by criticism you may not think is fair. I'm not a very good one to give advice, but just don't let the critics discourage you or push you off course. You will be our president when you read this note. I wish you well. I wish your family well. Your success is now our country's success. I'm rooting hard for you. Good luck, George. I saw something change in my kids' eyes as I read some of those lines about tough times made more difficult by criticism you may not think is fair, about the wish for great happiness. In those moments, our kids connected to a president, and honestly, as an educator, I did too, as arrogant as that sounds. Um, and when I finished reading, my kids clapped. I was shocked that our kids are that receptive, that eager for compassionate, communicative leadership. We're just chilling for a few minutes before lunch and they clapped. A sleepy kid asked me in the back, so miss, that's what a president is like? I was like, yeah. And I thought about that student, and I wondered about a few things. Every year in teaching, I think I'm going to understand a larger proportion of my craft than the year before, and I'm always wrong. And I imagine some of us may feel like that up here too, that every year by the end, I'm flooded with more questions than I had at the beginning of the year. So I'd like to close with a few questions. As teachers, how can we use our role and our class as a place to teach leadership, compassion, and communication? The students in that class, I would love 
to see a Facebook post someday of the letter that they left the next president on the Oval, on the desk in the Oval Office. And as teachers, what is our role in creating a society for our students that values genuine leadership, that values compassion, that values communication? So when our kids arrive, there is somebody to listen to them. Being a teacher is one of the most difficult careers. It is full of meaning and it is full of paperwork and it's full of challenges. But it is wonderful to know as I look at the world around us, as we look at the world around us when we watch CNN 10 with our homerooms, that I get to have an impact on that next generation and I get to shape what we see on CNN news 10, 20, 30 years from now. Um, thank you for your time and congratulations. Thank you so much, Ms. Sanders and Ms. Cubbage. Waco ISD is strongly connected with the city of Waco and our surrounding communities. One example of this is our enduring partnership with our local Chamber of Commerce. Joining us tonight is Mr. Matthew Metters, President and CEO of the Waco Chamber of Commerce to speak on behalf of the community. Good evening. It's truly my distinct honor to be able to join you tonight and to be able to stand and sit on this stage with the individuals who we're here to recognize tonight. When Stephanie reached out to me a few weeks back and asked me if I'd participate, I was a little bit slow in getting back to her, but when we finally had a chance to have a communication exchange, I explained to her that participating in this event, and I've had an opportunity to do this now for quite a few years, that participating in this event is one of my favorite things to do throughout the course of the year. And it's one of my favorite things to do for a number of reasons, but two in particular. One of those reasons is that I have a particular fondness for educators. I happen to have a lot of educators in my family. My father-in-law who, I'm sorry, my brother-in-law who recently retired was an educator and a head football coach. My niece and my nephew are educators and my brother John is also an educator. As a matter of fact, I just happened to have been able to go back to the Midwest and spend a little bit of time with family over Thanksgiving and I had a chance to go out and run around a little bit with John, and John thought it would be nice to take me by the school where he teaches, which was closed, take me by, uh, go into the school and show me his classroom. And I was really deeply touched by his desire to show me the school and the classroom, and I really enjoyed that time with him. I took some pictures, and I made a mental note that um, I was gonna sit tight and not post those pictures on Facebook until I had a chance to be at this event and snap a few pictures of you folks while this event unfolded and then put those pictures together and honor you folks and honor my brother together. So that's one of the reasons. Another reason is because professionally, my organization is charged with developing the regional economy and there's a lot of work involved in that as you might expect, trying to attract new business and industry and help existing companies expand. And what's so critically important to those companies is to be able to have access to talented, creative people and without people like the people on this stage who are spending time with our children and turning them into capable, quality adults, we wouldn't be able to meet our mission. And so on behalf of the Chamber's Board of Directors, I extend our warmest congratulations to you on behalf of our board and on behalf of our 1,600 member companies that we represent and offer you our warmest thanks and our warmest congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Metters. What better way to understand what it means to be a teacher than to hear from their students? I would like to introduce two students who will tell us what a teacher means to them. First, Yadira Salinas, a fifth grader from West Avenue Elementary. Good, good evening. My name is Yadira Salinas. 
I am a fifth grade student from West Avenue Elementary. I am very proud to, to be here to celebrate a fantastic teacher, Ms. Sanders. I am grateful that I had Ms. Sanders as a teacher because she taught me a whole bunch of things that I needed to know to pass my test. And when she taught me something, I was able to learn it. Without the strategy she taught me, I would not know how to solve the math problems. As she taught other, to, other children to use strategies, she made sure that everyone knew them. If they did not, she would give them an alternative strategy to solve the problems. She was never rude to anyone. She treated everyone the same, nice. She used to group people in a group in the way they learned best, so everyone could understand. She also solved problems that were not just in math. In the classroom, she helped some people individually with their problems in life. Finally, she was beyond an excellent teacher. She was my friend, and I love you, Ms. Sanders. Thank you. And now, Kamara Talley, a seventh grader at Cesar Chavez Middle School. Ms. Cubbage, you are a caring and beautiful young woman. You were chosen as Waco ISD Outstanding Teacher of the Year for the 2017-2018 school year. There were many reasons you were chosen, but here are a few. One reason is every morning when I see you, you always have a smile on your face. You never let us see you frown. You have those days that are hard and you still put us first. You not only teach us reading, you teach us leadership, organization, to set goals and how to meet them. Even though we can be challenging at times, you still do your best. You see the best in your students even when sometimes we can't see it in ourselves. You are always prepared and have our assignments ready for the day. There hasn't been a day go by where you don't have us working hard. You make our learning fun by doing class craft. You reward us with action points, which are points you can redeem for school supplies and other goodies. Ms. Cubbish, thank you for helping us with after school activities such as being the sponsor for student council. You have organized all of the boots and activities for the fall festival. You also went out of your way for us to have some local food truck vendors come to our campus and we were able to have something different in our fall festival. We had such a great turnout and student council made a lot of money for our campus. You make sure you set the example so we can follow in your footsteps. We really appreciate what you do at Cesar Chavez. You are truly a one in a million. Thank you. Thank you, Yadira and Kamara. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce State Senator Brian Birdwell. He is a native Texan, decorated retired U.S. Army officer, survivor of the 9-11 terrorist attack on the Pentagon, and husband, father, and grandfather, who proudly represents the citizens of District 22. Senator Birdwell serves as chairman of the Senate Committee on Nominations and is a member of the Senate Committees on Finance, State Affairs, and Criminal Justice. In addition to these duties, Senator Birdwell serves as chairman of the Sunset Advisory Commission, a joint bipartisan committee working to identify and eradicate inefficiency, waste, and non-compliance within state government. The senator and his wife, Mel, have been married for more than 30 years and reside in Granbury. They also operate Face the Fire Ministries, a nonprofit that encourages and assists critical burn survivors and wounded service members and their families. Please welcome Senator Brian Birdwell. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie, for your kind introduction. Good evening. Who are uh, I? Uh, I will be the three B's. They put me right after the students, and that is the hardest place to be. Uh, but I'll do the three B's, Superintendent. Be good, be brief, and be gone. Uh, the uh, it is a treat to join you. So, Vice President Sykes, members of the board, Superintendent Nelson, faculty, staff, uh, President Metter. It is a treat to join you and be with you tonight. Uh, I thought about what could I say uh, to champion the folks that are on stage tonight. And I thought actually what I would do was simply go to the program for a moment and read some of the thoughts uh, that many of the teachers shared. I'll, I'll start with uh, Lenny De La Rosa uh, from the Healthcare Academy. 
uh, Lenny, it says, students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And it really is indicative that, you know, look, I was a soldier for 20 years, and you do it because you love it. You're teaching because you love it. Exactly as Superintendent Nelson said, you're the backbone. You know, you are to public education what nurses are to a hospital, what the mechanics in the service department are at a car dealership. You're where the rough, rubber meets the road. You're the ones that have to be technically and tactically proficient to accomplish the objectives in each of your respective classrooms. And look, my mom and dad both taught, my aunt, my, my uh, uh, grandparents, I've got a sister-in-law that's still academically engaged in, in school districts up in the, the Dallas area. Um, the challenges that you face in a classroom day to day are very different than what they were when I was in class and you're being recognized for it tonight. The other thing I would tell you too is I'll, I'll use one other quote if I may and that's from uh, uh, Anna Gray. Uh, where's Anna? I'm looking. There she is. Anna's got the ringside seat here. Um, this was one that also struck me as well. It's Proverbs 22.6, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. it. Comes out of Proverbs, the second wisest man to ever walk this earth was Solomon. One of the other things he said was that the fear of, no the, fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And coming at your duties from a faith perspective is absolutely center of gravity to the performance that uh, you provide in the classroom. Each one of you are being recognized for your excellence of execution. And one other thing I would say, one of the things I learned in the Army many, many years ago was your subordinate success is your success. So the success that you are having in your individual classrooms is what makes your principals, your superintendent, and your school board some of the best in the state. The improvements that you've made in the last year, God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you for it. It is not a, it is not a sexy job. It's not one that, you know, people are paying. It isn't. I mean, look, people, people don't pay hundreds of dollars to watch you teach in a stadium that holds 100,000 100, people. But it's critical to the survival of our free republic and how people in this country self-govern. Don't ever forget it. God bless you for what you do. Congratulations. And one last word. The most important football game is this weekend. Go Army. Beat Navy. Hoo! <laughs>Thank you so much, Senator Birdwell. We would like to express appreciation to those in the community who have made this evening special. Baylor University School of Education, McLennan Community College, Penley Party Productions, El Conquistador Restaurant, Peter Piper Pizza, Waco Housing Authority, and Child Nutrition Services, Sodexo. We also have two other special businesses to recognize. Richard Carr of Richard Carr Motors, who each year presents a $1,000 award to the District Teacher of the Year. This award is given in loving memory of Mr. Gordon Roundtree. And Joe Nesbitt of Central National Bank, who each year presents a $1,000 award to the Outstanding Waco ISD Principal of the Year, which will be awarded in the spring. Let's give each of them a round of applause for their generosity. At this time, I would like to ask the principals from each campus to begin taking their places at this side of the stage to my left. Teachers, as we recognize each of you, please come forward to the front of the stage where Dr. Nelson will present your Outstanding Teacher Award along with a certificate of congratulations from Senator Brian Birdwell. Please remember to pause for us to take your picture and then you may return to your chair. Good evening. I want to introduce our Alta Vista Outstanding Teacher, Ms. Griselda Picasso. <laughs> Ms. Picasso is a true gift. She is always willing to take on a new challenge and does so with a positive attitude and a resolve to make the best of even difficult challenges. She is always willing to go the extra mile and help tutor older students, help coach teams such as Destination Imagination and UIL teams of older students. She works to build positive relationships with her students and their parents. The parents and staff 
love her. Because of her kind heart and caring attitude, Alta Vista is truly blessed to have Mrs. Picasso. Bells Hill Elementary Outstanding Teacher of the Year is Diamond Winburn. At Bells Hill, we have our very own in-house cheerleader, and her name is Diamond Winburn. To describe Diamond, I created an acrostic poem to describe Miss Winburn because that is what she would do. W is for wonderful, I is for inspiring, N is for nurturing, B is for big-hearted, U is for understanding, R is for reliable, N is for noble, and E is for enthusiastic. Ms. Winburn goes above and beyond for her students. Ms. Winburn, thank you for representing Bells Hill tonight and representing us well. You are truly the best. Outstanding teacher for Brook Avenue Elementary is Maria Antonio Villa Gomez. Would you want to teach a classroom full of three-year-olds all day, every day, in two languages? Probably not, but Miss Antonio does. She arrives early, stays late, does whatever anyone, including me, needs her to do, and never complains. She explains, models, and mentors to ensure the success of her students and colleagues. What I thought would be my least favorite class at Brooke has become my favorite one, and all because of what Miss Antonio has created. Maria Antonio's selection as Brooke Avenue's outstanding teacher is well deserved. Thank you, Miss Antonio. It has been an extreme pleasure and delight to watch Kimberly Huffman as she has grown into an outstanding teacher at Cedar Ridge Elementary PDS School. Kimberly is not only an effective teacher for her classroom of kindergarten students, but she has also become an exceptional mentor in the Charlton Cedar Ridge Professional Development Program. In her classroom, she actively demonstrates a warm and welcoming spirit to, that, to all that enter. Her students consistently model following expectations. Kimberly consistently enforces the campus-wide procedures. In addition, she is always trying to find ways to help our students, whether it is an academic concern or behavioral. She always seeks the root cause of any problem and identifies what resources she can get for the students. Outside of her classroom, she has developed into a teacher leader dedicated to her profession and those she serves in the Waco School District. Kimberly always goes the extra mile to help other teachers. She is our go-to person that our staff feels comfortable seeking help from, and she always has some ideas to help. Kimberly is an outstanding teacher, and she embodies the qualities of a dedicated teacher. She is the kind of teacher with which every principal wants to staff an entire school with. Ms. Huffman is an asset to Cedar Ridge, and we are proud that she is our Outstanding Teacher of the Year. The Outstanding Teacher of the Year nominee for Crestview Elementary is Jessica Scott. Ms. Scott demonstrates her commitment to student success each day. She plans meticulously so that all learners experience targeted and purposeful lessons. She creates an environment where students are authentically engaged and excited to learn. By building strong relationships, she is able to create a culture where students are supportive of one another as they each take risks when learning and applying new concepts. She stands as a consummate professional among our faculty by analyzing data, inviting feedback, and reflecting upon her professional practice. She also provides leadership as she mentors teachers who are new to the profession. The Crestview family is proud to put forward Miss Scott as our Teacher of the Year.
good evening. Dean Highland's 2018 Outstanding Teacher is Mr. Greg Ubri. <laughs> Fellow teacher Teresa Campini states that Greg Ubri is a great colleague. She says he's always there with a kind word to brighten your day or a bit of sage advice to handle a classroom problem or new idea to make learning fun. She says he's a great mentor to newbies and old timers. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that Greg Ubery is the picture of high expectations. I have a little story to tell you. Back in 2016, he came into my office with this idea to purchase a computer program called SumDog. Just a little background knowledge on what SumDog is. It's a, a program that lets our kids practice their math skills, but it's in this really competitive environment. Like when I say competitive, his kids are competing with students in New York City and places like that. When he came and he asked me about the program, I was thinking they're gonna get a little math practice, you know, and compete a little. In 2016, 2017, and 2018, his students were the Sumdog National Champions. So we are so proud of him. I tell you this, Mr. Ubri brings great value to Waco ISD and Dean Highland. Mr. Ubri, we're so proud. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Braswell is our Teacher of the Year at Hillcrest PDS. Ms. Braswell is both a giver and a gift. Without asking anyone, she gives of her heart, time, and, and energy to anyone and everyone that needs it. She is also giving with her patience, her love, her gratitude, her grace, her support, and devotion to her students' needs, whether those needs are educational, social, financial, emotional, it doesn't matter. The magnitude of her advocacy for her students goes beyond what meets the eye. She's a creative problem solver and a champion of students. Ms. Braswell is also a gift. She is a gift to our campus, our staff, and all of our students, not just the students in her functional academics class. She's a gift to all students as she creates and facilitates opportunities for everyone to meet their potential. Disability is a term that Ms. Braswell knows and understands, but she does not let it define anyone. Ms. Braswell is an irreplaceable part of our Hillcrest PDS family, and we are proud and honored to have her as our Outstanding Teacher of the Year. The Outstanding Teacher for J.H. Hines Elementary School is Mrs. Anna Gray. Mrs. Gray is a phenomenal teacher. She engages her students daily with enriching activities and showers them with love. She is always willing to help out others and selflessly devotes time to improving her craft. She is the epitome of an outstanding teacher. We are so proud and fortunate to have her on the Heinz campus. Congratulations, Mrs. Gray. Kendrick Elementary's Outstanding Teacher is Mrs. Amanda Guerrero. A former Kendrick student herself, Mrs. Guerrero has a heart for the students at Kendrick and is able to connect with them and build meaningful relationships with them. That along with her expertise as an educator have contributed to the remarkable success her students have experienced in her classroom. She's always willing to go above and beyond for her students, even going to their sporting and other extracurricular events. Mrs. Guerrero loves her students and her students love her. Kendrick is so proud to have Mrs. Guerrero as our Teacher of the Year. It is my extreme pleasure to announce Lake Air Montessori's Teacher of the Year, Ms. Megan Perez. 
Miss <laughs> Megan Perez exemplifies what a true Montessori teacher is. She engages all of her students while following their academic, social, and emotional needs. She builds a community of peace, respect, and love. Ms. Perez is always going above and beyond to help support Lake Air Montessori. Whether it be helping other teachers in their own professional growth or lending a helping hand with our festivals, parent nights, she's always there. She's stepping in whenever needed. We are so honored and privileged to name Ms. Megan Perez Lake Air Montessori's Outstanding Teacher of the Year. Mountain View Elementary Outstanding Teacher of the Year is Mrs. Lacey Smith. <laughs> Lacey Smith is a caring and compassionate teacher. She truly cares for her students and has high academic expectations for all of them. She plans engaging and hands-on activities that make learning exciting and fun and loves to brag on her students as if they are her own. Her students are respectful, kind, and seek to please Mrs. Smith. She is a mentor to not only other teachers at Mountain View, but also to Baylor interns and TAs. Mrs. Smith is truly worthy of being called an outstanding teacher. It is my privilege and honor to recognize Mrs. Delicia LeBlanc as Parkdale Elementary's outstanding teacher for the 2018-19 year. Pre-K is the foundational year of a successful academic career for our students. For that foundation to be firmly set, the students must have a teacher who sets high expectations, is encouraging yet firm, and is able to make every child in their classroom feel like his or her education is of the utmost importance. Mrs. LeBlanc is that kind of teacher. Mrs. LeBlanc is well respected among her peers and does not mind taking on leadership roles. If a task must be done to ensure the success of her team or her students, she is typically the first to volunteer. Mrs. LeBlanc is very deserving of this honor and I'm happy to see that her efforts are being recognized. Congratulations. Mr. Santiago Ochoa is the Outstanding Teacher for Provident Heights. <laughs> According to his peers, Mr. Ochoa ignites the minds of students. He inspires hope for students who have a rocky start in life, and he can foster a love of learning for all students. Let's be real, fifth grade teachers have to have strong hearts and minds to work in and day, day in and day out with our hormonal kids. When I think of Mr. Ochoa and his dedication, I remember the quote, it only takes one book, one pen, and one child, and one teacher to change the world. Mr. Ochoa is that teacher. Mr. Ochoa is recognized as an exceptional classroom leader who uses technology to his advantage. He provides immediate feedback to student work and minimizes worksheets, which they love, through Google Classroom. He's always teaching, he's very coachable, and he's an asset to our campus. He has ways of encouraging our toughest students. He goes to student games, activities, and makes home visits. He does whatever it takes to make a connection with the students. As a fifth grade teacher, Mr. Ochoa is skilled at using effective room deodorizers after recess. <laughs> Last year, I challenged him to make 65% of his students successful in the STAR test, and he sat with the most plighted stare I've ever seen. But he caught fire, and he never quit, and he surpassed all those expectations. He certainly deserves the Outstanding Teacher for Provident Heights. Thank you, Mr. Ochoa. At this time, we'd like to recognize Coach Natasha Mason as South Waco Elementary's Teacher of the Year. Coach Mason has a positive energy that lights up the building each morning. 
as she greets students, parents, and staff at the front door. Coach Mason can be seen throughout the day accentuating her smile and encouraging others. She provides students who struggle in the classroom a purpose and outlet for success at school. She also holds students accountable for classroom work and has allotted time for students to complete assignments before engaging in activities. Coach Mason has been at South Waco for five years as a physical education teacher. She is a great team player and keeps students engaged by integrating math and vocabulary into her daily routine. Coach Mason carries her whistle and it can sometimes be heard in the cafeteria as she steps in to lend a hand and quieten the students. We are proud to have Coach Mason on our team and represent South Waco Elementary as Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Coach Mason. It is my honor and privilege to announce the Teacher of the Year at West Avenue Elementary, fifth grade math and science teacher, Mrs. Krug. In my first year as the principal at West Avenue Elementary, it is very easy and obvious why Ms. Krug won the Outstanding Teacher of the Year Award from the teachers and staff at West Avenue. She continually puts in the extra time needed to be an outstanding teacher by arriving early to school every day and staying late. She routinely attends after school professional development to continue to improve her skills as a teacher and to ensure her lessons are meaningful and impactful. I generally enjoy each time I visit her class and can see the impact that she has on her students on a daily basis. Everyone at West Avenue is uh, very lucky and fortunate to have Ms. Krug as a teacher. For the 2018-19 school year, Ms. White has modeled is our, Ms. White is our teacher of the year. I want to make sure I say that. <laughs> Ms. Ms. Wyatt has modeled excellence for the students of CCMS. She provides a level of education that breathes confidence into her students and does this day in and day out. Ms. Wyatt teaches as if the future of the world is in her classroom today. Her lessons are so engaging that they motivate her students to actively seek out ways to improve themselves constantly. But most importantly, she is able to do all these things for her students with a caring smile. Thank you, Ms. Wyatt. I'd like to honor our Teacher of the Year for G.W. Carver Middle School, Mrs. Nicole McLean. <laughs> Mrs. McLean is an outstanding person and teacher who is constantly looking for ways to perfect her craft uh, with working with young minds. Uh, she brings an, a level of creative energy and a certain quirkiness when working with middle school students. And so if you know that, you know how that goes. Uh, she will often volunteer to, uh, to help with administrative duties, and she also initiates many programs on our campus. Mrs. McLean is an inspiring administrator uh, who exhibits personality to reach, motivate, and mold students within her classroom. In the short time that I've worked with Mrs. McLean, uh, she has shown her value and her great impact at the, great, uh, at the GW Carville uh, community. And we are honored and blessed and, uh, to have Mrs. McLean on our Carver and representative for the 2018-2019 Teacher of the Year. For the 2018-19 school year, Indian Springs Middle School Teacher of the Year is Christina May. It is truly an honor and privilege to announce Ms. Christina May as the Indian Springs Middle School Teacher of the Year. <laughs> she is in the fourth year of her teaching career in Waco ISD. She's an outstanding teacher who is very dedicated to her students. She is a highly effective teacher who works really hard with all her students. She is a very strong advocate for her students and always has the students' best interests in mind. She believes in her students 
and had a tremendous passion for teaching and learning. She always holds her students to the highest academic standards. She is an excellent example of a professional educator with a growth mindset that failure is not an option in her classroom for her students on a daily basis. So again, congratu congratulations, Ms. Christina May, for being a named Campus Teacher of the Year. Job well done. The outstanding teacher and new daddy from Tennyson Middle School, Mike Jones. Yes, Mike Jones, or as, my, or as my younger, more hip teachers who keep up with the music trends refer to him as who? Mike Jones is our nominee. I doubt he can rap like the artists referred to by those aforementioned teachers, but he can wear a cool lab coat and teach a science lesson with as much energy and enthusiasm as any other teacher. Added to that, would be that he's one of the most helpful people. I mean, he's the kind of guy who would actually volunteer to help you move. His level of kindness and sincerity is unmatched. And I'm grateful to have him as a teacher at Tennyson Middle School in the Atlas Academy. Congratulations, Mr. Jones. I would like to present Mrs. Brittany Foster. <laughs> Mrs. Foster is an amazing teacher that has creativity out of this world. She will take the simplest of household materials, create an extravagant science lab that will excite academically resistant students, thus creating a spark of love for science. She would go an extra 10 miles despite the task just to meet the needs of her students. She's got a fire that burns deep inside of her, which encourages her student soldiers to walk that fine line to progress and success in high school science. Today, I salute you, Mrs. Foster, our science drill sergeant, and wish you all the success that education has to offer. Congratulations. The outstanding teacher at the GL Wiley Opportunity Center is Ms. Jacqueline Waddle. At Wiley, we have a saying, we don't set the bar, we are the bar. We became the standard because of teachers like Jacqueline Waddle. Her commitment to reach and motivate each student is an inspiration, and I am proud to count her among the millions of teachers who rise to the occasion each day on behalf of our students. She is confident about her teaching, yet she is humble about recognition. On our campus, we call her Cookie Lady because of the food that she brings us each week. I love that. <laughs> Today, I'm so proud and honored to call her Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Waddle. The, the Greater Waco Advanced Healthcare Academy's outstanding teacher is Ms. Lenny De La Rosa. Lenny De La Rosa is truly a dedicated teacher who loves teaching anatomy and physiology. Just recently, she had a former student come back to Guaca to thank her for preparing him for college level anatomy and teaching him the study skills needed to be successful in college. Mrs. De La Rosa has researched and implemented numerous strategies, all with the student's best interest in mind, in order to maintain student engagement and help ensure all of her students reach optimal success. Mrs. De La Rosa is always prepared to deliver a rock-solid lesson where her students are actively engaged in labs, working in groups, or taking focused Cornell notes. 
It's never a dull moment in Mrs. De La Rosa's class as her energy and enthusiasm for a and shows in every minute of the class period, which has a direct impact on her students' attitude as well as appreciation for her class. It is an absolute honor to nominate Mrs. De La Rosa for this award and be able to showcase the hard work and dedication she shows to her students every single day. Congratulations, Mrs. De La Rosa. The Outstanding Teacher of the Year for the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy is Bobby Carpenter. <laughs> Mr. Carpenter is in his second year of teaching at the Construction Science Academy of Guam. He has been teaching a total of 23 years in districts in Central Texas area and three at Waco ISD. What makes Mr. Carpenter stand out among his peers is his ability to get to know the students on a one-to-one -one manner. The relationships that he's built over the years with his students in the Central Texas area continues today with his students in Guama. His dedication to serve others above himself, his dedication to family, and his dedication to serving and giving the students of Guama. He is, has led Bobby to being the Teacher of the Year for Guama. Congratulations, Bob the Builder Carpenter. <laughs> University High School's most outstanding teacher is Mr. Angelo Ochoa. <laughs> Angelo Ochoa is University High School's outstanding teacher for the 2018-19 school year. Mr. Ochoa is an amazing career and technical education teacher that provides students with the opportunity for real-world experiences through programs like VITA, which is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. This program provides skills to students they'll use long after they graduate from University High School. Mr. Ochoa also sponsors the Future Business Leaders of America program. FBLA helps students develop leadership abilities and prepares them for entry into business-related occupations. His dedication to University High School and his students is the reason he has been chosen as the University High School Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Mr. Ochoa. And as he... And as he is going to his seat, I know it's his honor and privilege to share the stage with his brother, the most outstanding teacher at Provident Heights, Santiago Ochoa. So uh, I, I know this is a proud moment for their family, so congratulations to the Ochoa family. I am proud to introduce Waco High School's Outstanding Teacher of the Year, Miss Ashley Bridgewater. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, very good. Like she brought a lot of people, a lot of fans, all right. <laughs> Ms. Bridgewater graduated from Waco High School in 2005. Ms. Bridgewater serves as an excellent role model for our students and radiates positivity with her beautiful smile and through her words and actions. She builds excellent relationships with her avid students while preparing them for college, teaching students a rigorous and high level. Uh, Ms. Bridgewater challenges them to enter college with skills and discipline needed to be successful. Her classroom is well organized and reflects college culture already. She and her students share a mutual respect which is evident when she enters the classroom. She treats her colleagues with the same respect, and she willingly takes on extra duties without complaints. She brightens Waco High School. Just look at her, look at her beautiful smile, just look at her. She brightens Waco High School with her infectious spirit and positive emails. As Ashley Bridgewater is an inspiration and outstanding teacher, once again, congratulations, Ashley Bridgewater. Thank you again to our wonderful principals for sharing those beautiful statements written about each of our outstanding teachers. We would like to invite everyone to join us in the foyer for refreshments provided by Child Nutrition Sodexo Services. But before we do that, teachers, will you please stand? 
I present to you the 2018-2019 Waco ISD Outstanding Teachers of the Year. Congratulations again and enjoy your evening. Thank you for coming tonight. Woo!